Hello everyone, Sam is here from myfirstmagicweb.com. I'm uh, making a quick video about this yen index and yen pairs. So let's get it started. Um, the pattern is finished, so uh, we may have some um, chance of reversal. So, uh, okay, let's take a look. Uh, this is, um, I'm going to go back a little bit uh, to refresh your memory. 15 September, I made this chart, yen index 20 minute. That this was the pattern that I was looking at. Uh, you know, the, it's, it's a length here. This is a drop, and then this, it goes back to you know, like a retracing, right? And it was around 61 percent. So now, the you know, usually uh, it goes either to 78 percent, and then drop, or usually make a turn from 61 percent. This is one of those uh, very high uh, possible, uh, pro uh, you know, probable uh, area of making a turn. So I said, you know, right from there, and usually when they make the turn from here, 61%, it go back to 23% line, right? Or either they continue, the price continue going dropping, right? Or if it bounces, it will bounce from 23% line and then go back to 78%. That's what really, you know, usually, usually happens. A lot of time happens, right? So that's what the idea was, uh, uh, you know, these are harmonic patterns, if you learn. Uh, then you uh, think a little bit ahead of uh, the game, and then you can uh, literally, uh, you know, predict the move, the next move. So that's what I was uh, predicting that, you know, we're going to drop to this area here. So what happened to this chart? Let's take a look. If you remember, then I, I gave you guys ch uh, the charts I'm talking about, uh, to my subscribers now. Uh, I gave you ch uh, this chart, and then look, it, it came down exactly right from 50 to 77, straight down to... 23 percent line it was very close didn't touch it quite touch but you know it was very close and then i said okay if, you know it either it's gonna touch one more time drop and touch or it's gonna bounce the chances for bouncing was pretty high and that's where i made this chart saying that okay now that it is look it looks like that you know it might go if we go to you know bounce from 23 percent line then where we're gonna go what is the possibility then? Usually it goes back to 78% to make a girdle. That's what the you know harmonic pattern girdle is, you know, calls for. But usually it's like wave one and then A, B, C correction. You know, first pullback 61%, second pullback at 78%. Very, very common, very normal, right? So I made the chart that says, okay, if goes above 5202. See, if then, if then a strategy is very, very important in this business. You don't want to make up your mind about something that, okay, this must be doing this and then I'll open one, put all my money. No, don't do that. You have to see that, okay, if we go above this, then I'm going to take this, this, this action. And if we drop, then I'll take the other actions. And that is if because of what? News, the fundy. The fund, and nobody knows what kind of fund we're going to get, right? So right now, Brexit is going on, and we have no idea what if they're going to make the deal or not, what kind of talk is happening, who's happy, who's mad, who's gone crazy. You know, it's it's a lot of, uh, you know, things going on right now, and there's a lot of people are very, very huge pressure. I mean, you're talking about countries on the line right now, and they have responsibility to do something. So nobody is sure what is going to happen. So how are we going to trade? We will trade according to whatever the decision they make and that the news will come out there. Okay, this is done. Boom. The market will react and we will get in, right? That's how it is. So if then, if then strategy is very important. And that's why I said that if it goes above 5202, that means we are going up, right? Whatever the reason is. And the reason usually is the news. So then might go to make a girdle around 53.19 you know right there there's a calculation and right there weekly low is a big number 53.19 so you know very much uh, uh, you know become like an, a magnet in that area right magnetic force uh, pulling this price towards it so what happened to this chart so far I'm going to show you that this is uh, this has turned into this as of today okay so we went straight from there, 52.02, little wobble here, and then start going to the upside, hit this, whatever it is, and then we just uh, dip a little bit, and then one more push to the upside, and 53.19 touch, actually 78.6%, 78% is touch, and which is 56, I mean 53.16.
So it's 350, no big deal, right? So, but the target is hit, okay? And then, now, actually, the girdle is finished. So this is the chart that I made, and, um, well, I I don't have the chart open, but I will. Okay, I made the new chart already, so I'm going to send it out to you guys. Then what is the next uh, uh, route, next direction, and what is happening. But let me show you, only because I knew that this thing is going to bounce from here and then going. Forget about, you know, coming down and what I did with that. It's going to be a long video then. I'm just going to show you that when it start bouncing from here to there, as of today, right, what I did with that. Okay, so yen index, when it is bouncing, what is it? Yen is getting weaker. And yen is always on the right hand side on almost every single pair. So, you know, Euro yen, Pound yen, Aussie yen, CAD yen, New Zealand, everything, you know. Uh, so yen is on the right hand side. And if the right hand side currency gets weaker, pair goes up, right? So you want to go long. So that's what I was doing. And then I'm going to show you the last week. I, uh, this week I didn't do much uh, as for because it was here when 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 you see that it is dropping 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 so when it is dropping from here making a turn right and going somewhere right here now it is uh, very much possible that it can make a turn anytime so it's taking a trade when it's here not a good idea so right now I'm holding and you know I'm expecting a turn then you know i'm not gonna make the tr trade uh, today i didn't make any trade for a yen uh, a yen pair but hopefully you know tomorrow or in coming days so but you start to go up so what i did uh, last week let me show you a few tra trades that i did in yen pairs it was going up and all long 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 supposed to go long right so watch this 10th october my trade euro yen long 110 pip this is the entry you see entry and you see the break even. Uh, I'm not even a break even. I mean, you know, I usually sit on a break even and then you know, when you move a lot, then I'll uh, you know put my SL uh, you know uh, like this and then finally close the trade. No big deal. So this is one of the trade euro yen because yen was getting weaker. Next, New Z yen because New Z was it's a big move. Nice after the news become bullish. And then was an entry here, was an entry here. I missed this one. I got this one and 80 pip, right? 11th October, Friday, last Friday. And it, it, my order, my SL right there. Next, CAD yen. Like I said, all yen pair are going to be going up. That's the beauty of watching the index. And uh, see, that's also 120 pip, right? Because CAD was getting strong as well. So CAD left hand side currency getting a strong, right hand side gets a, a lot of imbalance, right? Big imbalance, big move. Uh, the next trade, Aussie yen, same 11th October, same kind of setup, same kind of entry and my SL and my uh, trade, my entry, my SL is right there and it went all the way up 400 pip. Next, USD yen, same kind of almost, right? So it went up. ABC collection, beautiful entry here and gone with the wind, 90 pips here. So, you know, you can make the total how many pips in one day. And because of that index that I knew that it's going up and all pips going to go up. So you can literally either pick and choose that which one you want, the best, you know, choose or trade all of them. <laughs> all right. That, that's your choice. Right? if you have a big account, trade all of them. Because they all go going. You know that the index is on the move, not the other currency, the yen. If yen is uh, on the move, all yen pair are going to be moving. The same happened uh, uh, thurs last Thursday, Friday, and even today. And yesterday, that pound was getting strong because of the hopes of Brexit deal, right? That they're saying that, you know, they might going to get the deal done. So it was a big positive for pound, and pound started getting strong. And look what happened. Pound USD, Pound Nuzi, Pound CAD, Pound Aussie, every single thing with, with like Pound, except Euro Pound. All went up and Euro Pound went down because Pound is on the right hand side. Otherwise, Pound is always on the left hand side. Pound started getting strong and all Pound pair went up. And I had several trades in that. Today alone, I had uh, Pound uh, Pound Nuzi and um, Pound USD long, both, right? 
and they are keep going unless until that you know maybe there is a news coming out that oh man you know what you know, the last minute the deal is not happening and we need the extension and this and that pound is going to make the turn to the downside okay at that time we're going to be looking for short 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 right but for now it's all long there and this is what you know usd yen i have made the chart already and i'm going to send out in a little while and then look for if again remember that if because there was a, i posted a chart on the my telegram and uh, you know uh, uh, <clears throat> uh, there was a note that i said that if the deal is not done then the pound is going to drop but the pound went up because the deal is done you know, i mean not done but you know there there is the, all the news are coming positive right so i'm try i try to catch the, the 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 turn right so don't just follow that blindly that you know if i make the chart you know okay this thing is going to drop that means that it's definitely going to drop and that's what i'm saying no it depend on the news okay so i'm trying to like this one right it went up all the way uh, the um, the girdle is finished right but what guarantee do we have that the girdle is going to play out you know what about just simply keep going up from here and then going to this high yeah it's possible right so in that uh, scenario if this thing is keep going up you're not going to short any uh, yen pairs no only if we see that this thing start to come down on a seven minute chart we see some nice uh, you know uh, dropping from here and then not only that but then we go and take a look at the uh, pairs that we have uh, reasons to go short and we get proper short setup then we take it okay this is how we do it so i'm gonna send out the chart the new chart that i made because i'm hoping that uh, from here we're gonna drop all right where and you know it, it, it's all in, on the chart i'll show you i'm gonna send out after the this video but in fact with this at uh, the same time at the video i'll probably uh you know record the chart and send out okay so uh yeah pound is still you know just keep an eye on the pound pairs because if the deal is going to happen pound will continue getting strong and all pound pair will be going up at least the one that we trade pound usd pound aussie pound cat pound nuzi and pound yen all right so this is it for now thanks for watching and have a wonderful trading day or night